He eluded our traps. He's stronger than anticipated, Master. You men go to the tower. Once he's inside, seal the doors. Even should he defeat Mananen, that tower will become his tomb. Yes, my lord. Okay, I have a special task for you. This bard seems more than a match for the men. He is indeed, Master. However, if we're given another chance, I'm sure... We're running out of chances. You must face him. Intercept him before he reaches the tower. Take my pet with you to ensure that he does not survive. He doesn't stand a chance. Did you blink? You continue on despite our efforts. If you can call what you've done up to this point an effort, you are so going to rue this day. We know what you're Mendel. up to. First the forest tower, then through the mountain pass for the mountain tower. Mendel. And now, now you're going to try to get through Stromnest to get to the island tower. Well, not Mendel, on my you watch. Idiot. Thanks for the tip, Mendel. That should make finding my way to the final tower that much easier. You knew already. Don't pretend you didn't. I mean, I mean, that's not really how... Seriously. You knew, right? At least I didn't say anything Silence. about the... You think you can slay our brothers and not pay a price? I think I pulled a groin muscle fighting one of your druids, if that makes you feel any better. It's time to cause you a little more pain than that. Oh, I don't know about that. Have you ever pulled a groin muscle? Haven't you learned by now that you can't hurt me? Oh, I think I can hurt you, my friend. Nice dog you have there. Allow me to introduce my pet. My God! Now you'll pay. Today, you'll do the paying.
did you bloom? Fast enough. Come to me. To the bard. Come to me. Coming. Charge! I'll take did care of things. My pretty. Come to me. Coming. Did you miss me? Too slow. Miss you, little friend. But by God, I'll avenge you, I swear it. This isn't over yet. Saddened by the loss of his faithful companion, the bard somehow found a way to carry on. With a tear in his eye. It's not a tear. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I, I, I've got something stuck in my eye. Oh, have it your way. So, with something in his eye, the bard left behind his stiff-as-a-board pup and continued his quest for the Shadow Axe. Reporting for duty. Though the grass of Greenlands was beautiful, it was permeated with danger as the dreaded Redcaps patrolled the land.
to Mama. Attack! Charge! enough. Did you blame it? Not fast enough. Just a little closer. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the Bard if he has high charisma. Allows the Bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. A ranged attack that fires multiple arrows which pass through their targets. Used with the ranged skill. Hold and release the attack button to activate. Too slow.
the bard soon came upon the tracks of some dread beast. Even as he examined the tracks, a fellow who clearly had a serious problem approached. Oh, lad! Come again? Well, maybe clearly was the wrong word. Tell you what, spit the rocks out of your mouth, then we'll talk. Oh, a ball, no knuckle, Oh, what's your gut in your blood? Are you a silly fool? Would it help if I just killed the knuckle of Well, of course. Now get on your guy, you want the Christian scum. I'll take that as a yes. You better be thanking me. I'm betting that you're the man I'm here to see. Are you McGrath? I am McGrath. Well, I almost think Dugan is playing some kind of joke on me. Dugan, Dugan, so I have been a bird. He's tall. Well, I'll do it. I hear something there. Ah, bloody hell! Looks like I'm gonna have to drag you back to see Dugan. Maybe he speaks whatever it is you're speaking. With McGrath in tow and the knuckle of nothing more than a memory, the bard headed back to Downby, hoping to decipher McGrath's ramblings and move one step closer to earning his reward. The bard knew that he'd better keep his new companion alive at least long enough to figure out what he was saying. The happenings at the local cemetery told the whole story, and it was not a pretty one. The dead were rising more frequently, and the land was becoming more and more chaotic. Hopefully, McCrath could clear up some of the mystery. Ah, oh, okay, it was a bad sign that they began to raise their grave. This bit of a mammy and I was ho ho to the rub. Get it off, house there. Oh, the tough on that one. I wish I knew what the hell you were saying. I don't even know what he's saying. Did you blink? Healing! Uh, 
Yes, the interstate gang on fixer shut up. Ah. What on earth are you gibbering on about this time? Oh, you called beef. There's a play here, Dawn. This relationship is out of order. Yes, the interstate gang on fixer shut up. Skip it. The bard found an insignia and an epitaph commemorating a fallen Lord of the Macrath clan. The epitaph read, Lord Pershing Macrath, our Lord is remembered for his undying faith. He raised our family from lesser ranks. He humbly sought the best for all, and our benefits demand his thanks. This epitaph read, Lord Border Macrath. Our Lord was born in a darker time, where hope came on the edge of a blade. From his courage and bravery, our Lord died in the brighter days he had made. An epitaph. It read, Lord Merrimont Macrath. Our Lord is left beneath this mound. We hope some happiness he has found. We know he lays without a sound. So says his mistress, who cut him down. An ominous marker presented itself to the bard. It read, Here lies the bard. May he rest in peace. No longer making life miserable for those around him. Not funny. Oh, maybe not to you. Oh, very well. The epitaph read, Lord Apono Macrath. Our Lord, who brought prosperity, his wisdom lent without brevity. His death brings tears from above, and with him dies all our love. It was obvious that the bard had a fascination with the dead. This epitaph read, Lord Lockin Macrath. Our Lord feared his wife more than he feared death, and with his butter knife took his last breath. The epitaph on the grave marker read, Lord Fabian Macrath. Our Lord was known for his angelic voice. Over hills and moors his song would carry. Not a subject could rejoice the day he ate a nightshade berry. Over here. In a moment, my pretty. Come to me. Through the bard. to me through the bard over here in a moment my I see you, Bob. Now for 
some action. Over here. In a moment, my pretty. You gotta help me here. I can't understand a bleeding word he's saying. Is this even McGrath? What do you mean? Of course that's McGrath. Ask him a question. Hello there, old friend. How are you getting along with this young scamp? Oh, oh do the brother say no, no, this bonny lad will be same for the not levers at some Dr. Lester. Ah, he's speaking in a rare Scottish tongue. I forgot that most people these days don't know it. Fortunately, I do. What's he on about? So far, just that he's grateful for being rescued from the monster that some idiot released. But I'll get more information. Heal me, Mayor. What happened? Here's Gordon. The on day rose of the grain and took my castle. I fell all at the time and he's great. Oh, they let me behind the axe. Ominous indeed. Tell you muck around until he'll be taken out of my castle. He can retrieve the shed axe. Oh, you'll like that. What? Which will he have to give? I'm a back to the rooms of my castle, and it's shown the entrance. There's a trick of door leading you into the head dungeons, but I got the key. Clever. Come again? I'm certain he'll help. But it's better not get through those dungeons and tie, says Princess, as I saw well their champion, or cause I wouldn't bury Megan out of your cheetah, right, girl? I thought to say that myself be a blind bit, but I am pretty certain. All right, that's it. That's it. What are you two on about? Right, here's the deal. McGrath's going to take you to his castle. Well, the ruins of it, at least. Only if he buys me dinner first. Where he'll open up a trap door that leads down into the dungeons. What's inside? The Shadow Axe. Like I told you before, he was holding it for you. He had to leave it in his dungeon when all the trouble started. I've instructed him to take you to it. Now we're talking. What else? Ah, oh, just some undead warriors. Now, once you have the Shadow Axe, You'll journey south along the coast. Wait a moment. Undead warriors? How many? A few. A score. Well, which is it? A few or a score? It's a big difference, you know. A few score. And when they're all dead, you'll head south to the coast. The third tower is located on a small island just offshore. You should have no trouble securing passage to the tower. Right. I'm off. It's getting dangerous around here. Well... Anything to say? Oh, give my shut up, that guy a cunny, eh? Ha! Sorry I asked.
Come to me. 